In a lush, dense forest where the trees stood tall and the rivers sang, there was an owl with a peculiar obsession. This owl, with feathers that shimmered like the night sky and eyes that seemed to hold the mysteries of the universe, had a never-ending thirst for understanding. Every day, the owl would perch on its favorite branch and observe the world below. He would watch the deer as they grazed, the squirrels as they scampered, and the fish as they swam. But simply watching wasn't enough. He wanted to understand the deeper meaning behind each movement and sound. One clear day, the owl found himself deep in thought, watching a group of ants move in perfect harmony. They carried food, followed a specific path, and communicated without words. The owl, intrigued, leaned down and asked a passing butterfly, what are they doing? The butterfly, with wings of vibrant colors that caught the sunlight, replied, they are working, just as we all do in our own way. But the owl wasn't satisfied. Why do they follow that specific path? Why do some ants carry more than others? A wise old tortoise, who had been sunning himself nearby, overheard the conversation. You seek to analyze, the tortoise said, his voice slow and deep. Analyze? The owl echoed, the word unfamiliar to him. Yes, continued the tortoise. To break down something into its parts to understand it better. When you analyze, you don't just see, you understand. The owl, always eager to learn, asked, how do I analyze? The tortoise replied, you observe, you ask questions, you seek answers, and you connect the dots. Determined, the owl decided to analyze the behavior of the ants. He observed their paths, the weight they carried, and even the times they took breaks. He asked other animals in the forest about the ants' habits, their food, and their homes. And as he gathered information, patterns began to emerge. He realized that the ants followed the path with the least resistance and that they communicated through scents. A week later, the owl, bursting with excitement, shared his findings with the forest animals. He explained how each ant had a role, how they found the shortest path to food, and how they worked as a team. The animals listened, amazed by the depth of the owl's understanding. The squirrel said, now I see the ants in a new light, all thanks to your ability to analyze. The owl, feeling a sense of accomplishment, realized that there was more to the world than what met the eye. By analyzing, he could uncover layers of meaning and connections that were previously hidden. From that day on, the owl didn't just observe, he analyzed. And as he delved deeper into understanding the world around him, the forest and its inhabitants looked up to him as a beacon of wisdom. In the heart of the dense, singing forest, the owl with eyes holding mysteries became the analyzer, enlightening others with his profound insights.